Um, this video is about uh, using lists and sometimes lower scale multiples uh, to answer questions. Uh, a typical example of a question where you need to write lists is where you got multiple multiple possibilities for a fair few things. So in this question about Liz by impact of coloured buttons, um, she's got uh, eight red buttons in a um, in a packet. Um, she's got six silver buttons in a packet of silver buttons and five gold buttons in a packet of gold buttons. Um, so, and what you're now about to see here is just an example of a cases strategy. Uh, she might have eight red. She might have 16. She might have 24. She might have 32, just depending on how many packets she buys. Now, the, these cases go on forever, but it's not hard just to get into the groove by writing the first five possibilities. What, the, what about the silver buttons? She could have six. She could have 12. She could have... 18, she could have 24, she could have 30, etc. Um, and finally, when she buys gold buttons, if she buys one packet, she'll get five. If she buys two packets, she'll get 10. If she buys three packets, she'll get 15, four packets, 20, 25, etc. Um, So these are possible lists of how many of each type of button she'll have, depending on how many she buys. Now, I'm now going to understand this next thing. How many packets, oh sorry, Liz buys equal numbers of red buttons, silver buttons, and gold buttons. So this would be an example of buying equal numbers of red and silver. This would be an example of buying equal numbers of red, of silver and gold. If she's going to buy equal numbers of red, silver and gold, then I think I need to continue this on. Um, So that'll go 56, 64, etc. Um, this will go 36, 42, 48. This will go 35, 40. 4550. Now thus far I still haven't yet got an example where it could be the th same number for all three. I've got my red and silver being the same and I've got my silver and gold being the same. Um, I think to get all three the same I've got to keep going. So 7280. Hmm. I'm not sure this is a good use of my time because uh, it seems to me the list is going to have to be pretty long. Now, what I'm saying is that whenever you're in this situation, it's often the case that the examiner wants you to use a lowest column multiple. And in fact, that's what these are. These are multiples. These are multiples. These are multiples. Uh, what is the lowest uh, column multiple of 8 and 6? Lowest column multiple of 8 and 6 is 24. In fact, there it is. What's the lowest column multiple of um, 8, 6, and 5. Well, that'll be the lowest column multiple of 8 and 6, which is 24, and in turn the lowest column multiple of 5. Um, the lowest column multiple of those um, will be, I think, 120. Yeah, because that's a prime number. Um, so yeah, it'll be 120. Now, if she has 120 of each, to actually answer the question, she's going to have 120 divided by 8 of 
red. 120 divided by 6, that's 20 of silver. And 120 divided by 5, which is 36 of gold buttons. So anyway, that's an example of um, using lists. And then finally, lowest common multiple. Uh, by the way, there's another possibility, which is she could have 240. That's also a, low, a common multiple. In which case, she'd have 30, 40, or 72. Uh, I think this question doesn't actually rule that out. Uh, so I think this is a, uh, the kind of question that you probably wouldn't have an exam. And if you did, you'd have to write plus other possibilities as well.